let's begin with uh, what the state governments are doing when it comes to fight against uh, drug abuse. Now, state governments have uh, been advised to prioritize the fight against substance abuse in their strategic work plans for a safe and secure society. And this advice was given at the opening ceremony of a two-day training on drug prevention, treatment, and care organized by National Drug Law Enforcement Agency for Spouses of State Governors in Abuja. In her keynote address at the event, Senator Tinubu, who was a special guest of honor, tasked the states to see the war against the drug menace as a collective effort. The First Lady, who was represented by the wife of Inspector General of Police, Elizabeth Egbetokun, Commander Chairman, Chief Executive Officer of NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, retired, and the Nigerian Governor Spouses Forum for the initiative. Combating drug abuse, you will agree with me, requires a multifaceted approach that encompasses prevention, treatment, and support. There is need, however, for increased investment in prevention programs that target vulnerable groups, including young people, schools and communities, as well as expanded access to treatment, services for those struggling with addiction, while comprehensive public awareness campaigns to educate the people should be sustained. We must challenge the stigma surrounding addiction and cultivate a culture of empathy and solidarity towards those battling substance use disorders. The role of governor's spouses in combating drug abuse cannot be overstated. Through advocacy, we can ensure access to prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation services for those affected by addiction. The NDLEA hit the reset button and renewed the fight against illicit drugs by floating several measures aimed at bringing about a turnaround of the Nigerian drug situation. One of the flagship initiatives was the war against drug abuse, WADA or WADA. All right, uh, that's uh, Brigadier General Bukba Marawa retired speaking there uh, in a two-day conference for training, uh, educating the wives of governors on uh, the fight against uh, drug abuse or substance abuse. It's important that uh, we take this battle uh, head-on, tackling it, and it's good that we're bringing in the wives of governors uh, of the various states and uh, being mothers, they would know how best perhaps to, you know, strategies to take to addressing this matters, knowing that uh, the age bracket who, are, who have found themselves neck deep in the matter of substance abuse are persons they can easily speak with, perhaps the age range of their children, and so they would know how to um, tailor the message such that it gets across to them. That's right, and I'm happy with, um, you know, the... Uh, achievements made so far by the NDLEA, they've been, you know, uh, up and doing and trying to ensure that they fight the scourge of drug abuse, which is now predominant among our youth. And this is something that stemmed out from not just um, uh, bad companies, not just peer pressure, but also the fact that the kind of music that, you know, we are exposed to, uh, which, you know, uh, we'll definitely talk about the regulation of social media, mm. uh, the regulation of the media generally, which is started from now talking about social media, because you know some of this music are not meant to be shown on, on television. But I don't know how uh, those, those laws are really effective now, because when they watch some of these things, they, some people take these people as their mentor, and they feel it's just a way to go. And some also believe that they can take this thing without taking this thing, they can't be inspired. They can't understand. Imagine students who is preparing for examination, you know, saying that I have to be high for me to comprehend what I'm reading, for me to be able to even mm -hmm. cram properly what I would like to, like cram la poor, you know, mm -hmm. do it back in the day. So it's, it's, it's a good initiative. It's uh, the fact that all of the um, wife of the governors are now being, you know, um, uh, is it coerced or you know introduced Brought to the to, table yeah to, to, to be part of the conversation party. yeah they will take it you know head on 
and not just you know coming together to a round table having a conversation but getting on the street yesterday i, I was at the market not that i went to be, everything is expensive yeah you're always at the market yeah, but i didn't actually <laughs> buy <laughs> i was just i was, i just went to buy one or two things you see no full stop this time around right. so <laughs> so i saw you know you know a gathering of people you know the motor, motor park people you know talking about ah the economy is this the economy is bad on top of it they are now banning alcohol they are now banning drugs and the net, then another person now said uh, to make the matter worse they now made naramali head of um Head of um, marijuana, and you know, and, you know as yeah, an so ambassador or something. Really actually refuted, you yeah. know. Yeah, so how to like? I didn't want to say anything, but I felt well, this is our job. Educate we don't them. Have, we don't only have to sit here to educate people; we also have to take it to the street. So I had to educate them. As I now said, okay, if you're taking drugs and I've been taking um, substance substances, um, you know, you're smoking substances, you're also drinking alcohol in sachet. We see all our younger ones, younger, younger generations who are taking this, and it's you know, has this so-so uh, and so impact, you know, on their lives, you know. I was able to at least convince them, so, but some said, at least if we didn't see food, we are supposed to even see something we can take <laughs> to be high. Yeah. So the, 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 the menace is really, really, you know, uh, endemic. It, and we just yes, it, it has really eaten deep into the fabrics of our society. And uh, I believe that charity begins at home. And uh, being wives, they'll be able to speak with women who can take the message home to their husbands, their children, and the message trickles down. So it's very important that these conversations are had at various levels, not just uh, um, at the home level, but even in schools. You have people talk about these kinds of uh, issues in schools so that we can catch them young and help them understand that there are dangers to you taking these things, it is not healthy for the body as it is. So it is good that uh, this conversation is going on, but then beyond conversations, let's begin to see laws in place to mm -hmm. actually right. bring persons yeah. to book, going for those who are making a kill out of all of these mm -hmm. issues. Because if we are not getting them and they are still seeing Nigeria as that market where they can still be bringing in this these uh, drugs and substance abuse, uh, it's, it's still a detriment to the society, then we are just scratching the surface. But I know that the NDLA has been doing a lot. Really? When it comes they, they to making, making arrests. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> they're making arrests. Yeah. We, we have seen at some point, we know that um, one of their members was even attacked in the process of they trying right. to uh, make an arrest. So we must give kudos to them uh, in their effort, but more can still be done. And everybody's hands has to be on deck as it is right now. They alone cannot handle no, yeah. this. And so it's good that we are seeing wives of governors take up this uh, um, mantle, if I would yeah, say. They have been pants yeah. this mantle to handle these matters. I, I only hope that uh, this will make as much difference in mm. the coming days. Now, you know, they know how to gather a lot of people, the CSOs mm. together. They are closest to, carry, to the people. Yeah, yeah. yeah to carry these you know, messages to you know, um, the grassroots, which is very, very important because people... Who don't even listen to, they don't watch TV, they hardly listen to radio, but it's just word of mouth. And when they hear, this is something that it help, that helps us to, you know, get higher. We, we discussed at the editorial, editorial, maybe was it last week, uh, talking about a, a report of people who go into, um, uh, is it in Senegal, or one of these African countries, they go into um, uh, the, the cemetery, and they destroy the cemetery, they cut the bones, the, the dried bones of those who are already dead, and they smoke it. Mm. They believe that that gives them, and you now see a lot of zombies on the, on the streets. To what end? What mm. do you want to gain from it? To, to get high, but at the end of the day, when you get high, you return back to the real <laughs> state <laughs> and face <laughs> reality. <laughs> you see and face the reality. You, that's, that, that's, that's the truth. Mm. You face the reality of things, but then people will tell you, oh, the way things are, the society and all, uh, just to help them get out of certain situations, but for how long? Because at the end of the day, reality is still staring you in the face. The situation that you are trying to avoid is still very much with you. So why not look for how to go about addressing it as against abusing substances that is detrimental to your health at the end of the day? So um, the message can still go on. We can still continue passing across those messages. It's important that we keep hearing it. It is never too late to hear and it, is, uh, it shouldn't be tiring at the end of the day.